Hello everybody, now we're in South Bank and in front of the one of the most famous theatres in London, which is National Theatre. And it's one of my favourite examples of brutalist architecture in London. And here we're going to talk about some facts that you might not have known. This is a very interesting fact, I didn't know this until this video. So the roof of the National Theatre is approximately the house for 6,000 bees. They keep the bees in their rooftop to promote the declining bee population and sell the honey in the National Theatre shop. During a visit to the Old Wick, uh, the Queen Mother asked for a private room near her seat. However, the theatre didn't have the room. So the stage team got creative and they decked out of a landing of a stairwell and it resembled a regal waiting area. The Royal Festival Hall is the only original remaining South Bank Centre building. The earliest group of buildings were constructed in 1951 as part of the Britain Festival. All the buildings were demolished in 1952 by Winston Churchill's Conservative Party Save the Royal Festival Hall. In 1974, Sir Peter Hall arranged for the Old Wick to house its first rock concert ever. The National Theatre was housed in Veteran Theatre, the Old Wick, since moving out since 1976 and it has its own space right now and it has won 450 major drama awards. The current artistic director Kevin Spacey is heavily involved in their young person's project, the Old Wick New Voices. Launched in 2009, the National Theatre Live broadcasts performances to 800 venues in 30 other countries. Being in front of one of the most humble looking but still very stable buildings in London, the National Theatre is housing to so many legends. I hope when it's opened you'll come and see at least a play. I'll see you in the next video of Londonist. Take care guys.